Hi there and welcome, my name's Alfie and I'm part of the sales team here at Granthams and today I'm going to be taking you around the new Swift Elite 580 2023 model giving you a feel of the interior and exterior of the caravan as we go along through it. So where better to start than the front facing area of the caravan itself. As you can see you've got quite a large front locker with the windows there and the nice decals with the lettering of the caravan. With the front locker it's got a nice carbon finish across it. It is large enough to contain up to two gas bottles inside along with coming standard here at Grantham's with a water pump, an electric cable, a step and a steady winder as well. As we move down to the A-frame, as you can see, we've got the AKS stabiliser and a few other bits and pieces for hitching up along with also having the ATC installed with this caravan. So as we move across to the left hand side of the exterior, do have the nice grey and blue decals down the side with a nice extra addition of the birds on the side just to give it that bit of personality. You do have an external shower point as well. You've got your water intake bit areas. You've got where your ledger battery goes along with your mains point. So if you're on a site and you've got an electric point there, you can just hook it up instead of having to use the battery. As we move down as well, you've got the nice diamond cut alloy wheels on this one. And then just at the far back end, you do have the toilet cassette area along with where you put your fluids in for the cleaning of the toilet. And then moving to the rear end, you've got the nice LEDs for the brakes, lights, headlights, any bits and pieces like that. Along with standard with all Swifts, you've got the area where you can put your bike rack on. So if you're someone who likes to bring your bike with you and go cycling during caravanning, it can be fitted and it can be done very easily. So now, as we move across to the habitation side, same again, you've got the same decal down the side. A nice storage space which is just underneath the bed, so you can lift the bed up or you can open that up and it's just put things under very easily. Moving across again. As you come to the front area of the habitation side, you do have a 230 volt socket here, along with a TV point here, which just opens up nice and easy. And then you've got the point in there as well. Same again, as we move down, you do have an external barbecue point here as well with another under storage which is accessible from the exterior and the interior of the caravan so it just cut hooks under the sofa on this side so now i'll take you inside the caravan and give you a feel for the interior as well so we're now inside the caravan and where better to start than the lounge area itself as you can see you've got both sofas on each side corresponding to each other along with on each side you've got the overhead lockers parallel in this one you do have the radio cassette area where the radio will go so it all plugs into there nice and easy but other than that one there are all nice open spaces some with shelving space some like this one just a nice open space to put any of your items away in and then you do have a chest of drawers here as well which just pulls out very easily using the clasp bit here and it's just open space same again with this. It's nice and simple just to put an extra bit of storage inside the caravan for yourself. So as we take a step back as well, moving across to the kitchen area, you do have the microwave in the middle of these two storage spaces. Inside this one, you do have a holder for any plates and bits and pieces. So even during transport, you can just slide them in and they're nice, safe and sound. So you don't have to worry about that. And then in the other one, it is an open space. But inside it, you do have the solar panel controller. So as you can see, it is flashing green, which is your indication that the battery is plugged in and the solar panel is working. You don't have to do anything else other than that. Then moving down, you've got the nice finish on the worktop with the sink and then moving across to the oven. It does have three gas hobs and one electric one in the corner. So you've got the option, if you are on gas, you can use gas. If you're on electric, you are able to use electric as well. Moving down into the grill, as you can see, you've got the grill pan in there and then you've got the main oven itself. And it does have a little bit of storage underneath, which we are able to use. So you can hide any pots and pans away in there as well. Moving across here as well. Same thing again, a little bit of storage for any kind of washing up products or bits and pieces. And then you've got a nice cutlery drawer. Here as well, so you can put something in there for cutlery or any other items in, or you can use this one, which does already have the cutlery bit and piece inside it as well. 
Moving down to the fridge. Opens up nice and comfortably. As you can see inside, you've got loads of space for all your food. Same with the freezer bit here. So if you're going away for a weekend or potentially even a week with a few of you, you do have the space inside to bring as much food as you need. So just twisting around before we move across to the bedroom, you do have your control panel systems here. As you can see, it is an Audi heating caravan, so it is the underfloor heating module. Then as you move across the control panel, you control all various different things. So you control your ledger battery and everything. You control your awning light along with the water systems and the main lights in the caravan as well. And then as we move down, you do have a TV point here as well with all the sockets and everything included. So you can set a TV up here while you're in the lounge. Now, moving across into the bedroom area of the caravan, as you can see, this one is a transverse layout. Then as we move to the right hand side, you do have a large wardrobe here. This one does have the fold away table in, all your Audi fluid in, and it does also have the satellite in the corner as well. But even with all those items in, as you can see, you've still got loads of space for all the clothes that you're bringing with you. Underneath as well, same again. You've just got a bit of open storage space here for any bits and pieces that you like to fold up, put away, just gives you that extra space. So as you can see from the bedding as well, the new elites do come standard with their own special bedding scheme. You can pick some of the colours and everything like that. So it's always an option and a benefit as well. They both have overhead lockers on the side. And both individual ones have the same thing with the shelving in, just giving you that open space. And then we do have a wardrobe over here as well. But before we get to that, we do have a mirror here, which opens up nice and comfortably into a little bit of storage space. And then you've got some shelving there as well. And then moving down, you've got a little bit more storage here as well, which opens up very simply. And it's just a little bit of shelving space for you there as well. So this wardrobe is a little bit smaller, but as you can see, it's still plenty open enough. So you've got enough room for all the clothes and bits and pieces to bring along with you for your journey. Then moving across into the shower area, you've got the toilet as the first thing as you walk in. And with the door, it is not like one of the folded ones. It's just a pull across and then a latch in. Got some cupboard space just above the door. Some more shelving units there, so just to add a little bit of decoration while you're stationary. With the nice open mirror plan in there. And you've got two overhead bits which can open so you can let all the steam out while you're showering. The sink area with some storage space underneath. And then you've got the nice square shower so you don't have to worry about feeling trapped in in a circle one at all. So I'll give you one last look around the caravan quickly just to give you a feel of what it's like to walk through it. Also in the kitchen area, we do have an omni vent here as well. So while you're cooking, you can turn that on, let all the steam go out and you don't have to worry about opening any of the doors or over the skylights either as well. There we are for you, that is the new 2023 Swift Elite 580 for you. I hope you've enjoyed and if you do have any inquiries or questions at all regarding it, don't be afraid to call us at 01476 560599 and speak to me or any of the salespeople here at Grantham's and we'll be happy to help. Thank you, have a good day.